Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have with us Richard Spencer. Richard is CEO of U3OA Corp. U3OA can be traded as UWE on the Toronto and as UWEFF on the OTC. Thanks, Richard, for being here with us. Uh, thanks very much for having me, Jeff. Let's talk about the significant news that came out recently uh, with the release of the preliminary economic assessment. Can you tell us some of the highlights from this report? Jim, with pleasure. It's uh, the reports on the Berlin project in Colombia, and I think that there are two fundamental things that come out of that report. Uh, the one is that there's been a perception that our process to extract the various commodities, including the uranium, is a little bit complex, and there was a question as to whether it really would work. Now, the company that did the PEA is Bateman Engineering out of Australia. They've got a huge amount of experience on these multi-commodity projects, um, uranium, vanadium, uh, phosphate plants built all, all over the world. And these are the guys that have spent six months working on the detailed design of the process and basically they've signed off on the process. They're happy that it works. So it's an enormous validation for the process, having the sign off on uh, the preliminary economic assessment. And then the second important point in general about the PEA is that people were saying, okay, um, if this does work, uh, and Bateman has just said that it, it does, um, is it going to be economic? Is the deposit going to be economic? Or is this process going to be too expensive? And again, we've checked that box. Uh, it, that process is economic. The Berlin deposit is economic. And we get the uranium out for less than $0 per pound. In other words, the other byproducts of vanadium and phosphate and rare earths pay for the mining and extraction of the uranium. So Berlin, as it stands at the moment, would be a zero-cost uranium producer. So, phenomenally positive. Yes, Richard. Let's talk a little bit more about the economics. This is just, the PEA is just a starting point. It's only based on one-third of the property so far. So, can we talk about some of the potential upside going into 2013 and beyond? Um, yeah, the, the, the PEA shows a cumulative cash flow of uh, just under $900 million over the 15-year mine life. Uh, that's an IRR of, of 17% and a net present value of $181 million at, at a 10% discount rate. But as you say, the uh, critical point is that this preliminary economic assessment, and those numbers refer to only one-third of the mineralized trend. Um, it's from three kilometers of a 10.5-kilometer mineralized trend. Now, the exploration from the next 3.5 kilometers of that trend has shown exactly the same style of uranium, vanadium, phosphate mineralization. The grades are the same. So from that exploration in the middle part of that trend, we know that we can easily double the size of, of the Berlin deposit. And then at the northern last four kilometers of the project, we have trenching from up there, no drilling yet. Um, the trenching that shows the same kind of values. So we're confident that this, this deposit will be three or four times larger than the initial resource that this preliminary economic assessment was, was based on. So that should make the deposit more economic in the future as the deposit grows. 
uh, economies of scale and a longer um, life of the mine should make it more economic. And then the other crucial things are that we have very, very good evidence that we'll be able to reduce the operating and capital cost via, via a couple of uh, processes that we're, we're, we're looking at, uh, at at the moment. And those test results will be coming out in the next sort of uh, four to six months. Richard, one of the, the headlines in the press release was that the, that the Berlin deposit will be a zero cash cost uranium producer. Tell us how significant that is. Yeah, that's absolutely huge. Um, in fact, uh, Mike uh, Bandrowski at uh, Claris Securities put out a, a very interesting table in, in a note that he put out covering the Berlin PEA yesterday. And he was comparing uh, Berlin's economics to uh, the the other four major preliminary economic studies that have been out uh, been put out in in the last uh, couple of years on deposits of similar size, and it just shows that uh, Berlin, being a, a zero cost uh, potential producer on the uranium side, compares very very favorably with the other preliminary economic assessments that have been done on other big uranium deposits uh, around the world. And the the lowest, the next lowest um, uranium production cost in those recent preliminary economic assessments is $22 a pound, which is still excellent. But uh, obviously with Berlin being at at zero cost uh, uranium production, uh, that that uh, just put its puts its streets ahead of these these other deposits. So we're we're incredibly excited about those results. Richard, let's conclude. And can you tell us some of the catalysts uh, for 2013? Now that you have this independently verified valuation. Jeb, with, with pleasure. The, the key milestones are going to be using this base case on Berlin. In, in, in a lot of ways, it's a worst case scenario on, on Berlin because the deposit isn't yet um, all that, that big. We've, we, we've got plenty of, of upside on, on that to make it into a really big deposit. But the key milestones uh, working on this base case are going to be metallurgical results which show that we will be able to reduce the uh, capital and, and, and operating costs uh, from the numbers that are in this uh, current uh, preliminary economic assessment. Uh, we would love to get in and drill that very northern part of the deposit to show the total size of, of the deposit. From the exploration drilling that we've done so far, we're pretty sure that the deposit is going to be somewhere between 40 and 50 million pounds in size, and that's talking just about the uranium, not all the other byproducts. And we would love to do the exploration in the northern part of the project, which should show us that we can get to uh, a total project size of somewhere between 60 and 80 million pounds over that whole 10.5 kilometers and again, based only on on the uranium content. So, our our key uh, next step on on this deposit is is to show that 60 to 80 million pound size. We will do that as soon as the uh, markets improve. And um, the the other key milestone is to come in with the uh, metallurgy and demonstrate how the new metallurgy will help to to reduce the capital and operating costs even further, which will make the the deposit or the economics of the deposit uh, even more compelling than they are now. And then other milestones for the company in general are the preliminary economic assessment that's coming out of the deposit in Argentina, um, and we have a, a strong news flow from from Argentina for the for the new year as as well. And some people are concerned about Argentina. Our view is that this 
the current crisis that the country is is in is a perfect opportunity to uh, position the company for further growth in Argentina because Argentina's history has always been that they go through these periods of crises and then once the crisis has happened, the economy grows at double-digit rates. So we're very, very bullish on Argentina. Well, thank you, Richard, for being here with us today and for giving us some highlights uh, into the PEA and into 2013. Thanks very much for having me, Joe. And it's really great to have this opportunity to talk about uh, these really exciting economics on Berlin. Thank you.